What up, though? This Lottie, man. Eastside in the building, man. I'm rocking with Lando in the hip hop lab. Y'all niggas know what it is. Lando, your bitch, no, it's your bitch, girl, nigga. It's the motherfucking hip hop lab, man. We're back again for one of these classic interviews, man. I introduce ourselves and let everybody know the people know who you is. What up, world? It's Lottie. Eastside in the building, man. What's poppin'? Y'all already know what it is. So, a lot of you, man, everybody who's not really familiar, familiar to your music and, and hip to your movement, everything you got going on, just give them a little bit of a backstory. Well, I'm from the east side of Detroit, you know what I'm saying, born and raised. Um, I got a big family, I'm the oldest of 12 brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying, and I started doing music when I was 11 years old, you feel me, so I've been doing it since then. I got, man, like, so much music. All in the streets are already that somebody probably heard, somebody mama, some probably still listening to my aunties, everybody, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, you know, I just I just want to stay consistent with what I'm doing, you feel me? Like, and just keep it going, you feel me? Like, that's that's the whole thing, it's my dream, so I, I work hard, so I just want to keep working, you feel me? So now you started taking music seriously? Yeah, yeah. It, recently, you know, I lost two brothers in 2012, you feel me? Yeah, I got sorry, killed on the east side, you feel me? So that's what motivated me to keep going, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I do, you know. I just do the music because I don't want to be out here hurting nobody, you know, and just keep keep going on the music, you know. So you working on a tape or a project, something like that? Yeah, yeah, we got, I got a mixtape right now, Forrest Gump, it's on datpip.com, mm -hmm. look it up, um, Lottie Music. Um, so I got a mixtape I did a few years ago, you know what I'm saying? But then this is going to be the next mixtape that's coming up, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, I have like 10, 12 tracks. All original, all bangers, you feel me? So, yeah, we doing it like that. And then um, I got the single, Long Time, that's coming with the video. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Oh, yeah For, Forrest Gump, what made you come up with that name for? Forrest Gump? Um, <laughs> it's crazy because it was like, uh, I had this dream, bro. And I know it's, it's, it's cliche as fuck, but I had a dream. And then I, I was in this war, you feel me? And, you know, I just felt like. It, it had something to do with the movie, you know, the Forrest Gump movie. Right when you were saving Bubba? Yeah, yeah, that type of shit. So, when I woke up, you know, I, went, I was in the studio, then I'm like, hey, bro, um, I'm going to call this bitch Forrest Gump. Then I heard the Jay Dilla track, you know, Recipes Day, Jay Dilla. I heard the Jay Dilla track, The Running, you know what I'm saying? So, The Running, it, 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 it had a good feel to it because it was, it went in with the Forrest Gump. You know, Forrest Gump, remember when he ran the miles and all that shit? And, and did all that, they the, the didn't know why he was running, and you know, but he eventually told him at the end and shit like that, he's running, he's just like, shit, I'm tired, I'm gonna go home. Just, you know, just the whole thing. Honestly, and then, yeah. you know, Forrest Gump, he was the type of person that he did uh, all these accomplishments and did so much shit, and he was just like, shit wasn't recognized for real, you know what I'm saying? He was just like an ordinary motherfucker, like, in general, you know? And I feel like that's me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I accomplished so much, but I stay humble, and, and you know, I just kind of ride, just, just, just ride life, you know what I'm saying? So, I called it Forrest Gump, you feel me? And we got, it just come together like that, you know? Just, just the skits and the edits and all that, so, you know, like, You'll check it out, you know, you'll love it out. What's up, what's up? Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. So, bro, far as talk, talk, talk to us about this video you just let me see, man. You <coughs> like some, some more time in, you know the shit. Yeah, bro. yeah, man. Shout and out to Sean. Don't know that song, because I just don't <laughs> say that about no video that I ain't shooting. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Shout out Lefty, shout out, shout out uh, my man Keith, you know what I'm saying? Shout out uh, um, the video guy Christian, you know, he out in Cali right now, but shout out him. Um, it was a, uh, I feel like it was a masterpiece because, you know, we, we started in, in, in the burbs and, and, and showing a good life, you know, and, and that's, you know, we, we live in exactly what we rapping about and exactly what we talking about. So we started out there and then we went to the hood, exactly where I'm from and, and was born and raised and shit like that and, and put on for my people. Shout out my pop, shout out my aunt, you know, he sat in the building, you already know what it is. Um, but yeah, we, shot, we, we just put on for the city, man, you know what I'm saying? For the city of Detroit, you know, I'm from the east side, but I done lived on the west, I done lived in Southfield, I, you know what I'm saying? All kind of different places. I've been to seven high schools. So, you know, we just, the video just show, 
just everything, bro. Just, just, just the feel and the love. Um, not just for the city itself, but just for the for the for the outer city too. You know what I'm saying? We got Yak Town, we got Flint, we got you know different places where people represent too. You know what I'm saying? So, and I feel like that's all a part of that 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 video, man. It took like five years to get this one shot. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm I'm proud of the video. You feel me? I think you'll get a good, good, real good response with the video too, man. As long as you're dropping in the right place, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah I'm dropping in with you too. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. That's the right place. Yeah. 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 For sure. Bro. So, bro, what, what, so, so tell us about uh, uh, coming up. Like, what, what, what was what was uh, life for you like coming up, like growing up in school and shit? Yeah. Um, shit, school, school wise was crazy because. Um, I'll tell you about when I started doing music because it, you know the school had a lot to do with it. But I was in um, I was in seventh grade and I remember um, Dope Boys. They they wasn't called Dope Boys then. They was called the Yachty Boys. It was like a little group called the Yachty Boys and shit. And they was out west and shit. And you know I remember I was at this little basement party. You know what I'm saying? I'm in seventh grade and there was some niggas in high school. You know what I'm saying? They had their little gang and shit. Woo -woo. So. I'm rapping this shit. They like everybody in the school knew I rap. You feel me? So I go to this 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 party and shit. So I got my little entourage with me. But we all middle schoolers. So we had a high school party. So I they like oh niggas battling. Woo -woo -woo. So I ended up jumping in the battle. And I dissed one of the niggas. You know what I'm saying? A little P. He stands for little pussy. It was like some shit corny now, but then it was you know what I'm saying it was it was it was crazy. So. They was like, oh, oh shit. This, this shit. Yeah, 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 I remember, yeah. yeah. So they, you know, they was like, oh shit, you know, woo -woo. Nigga wanted to fight me. They, they, they wanted to jump me and all that shit. They was gonna jump me, bro, you know what I'm saying? But then there was one nigga, I guess they leader or whatever like that, you know what I'm saying? Nigga named Murd. Uh, he came up, he like, bro, leave that nigga alone, man. Leave that little nigga alone, man. That nigga good, woo woo. He like, man, spit some more shit, woo woo woo. And then I thought, like, damn, that was the one I've been working on. I ain't write nothing else, you know what I'm saying? Most of it was writing it, and I just freestyled that last part. I'm like, I ain't writing nothing else. So that, that made me, after that night, you feel me? Because I had all the bitches looking, all the, you know, just everything. So I'm like, after that night, I'm like, shit, I got to write. So I've just been writing, like, nonstop since then, you feel me? And, um, but just growing up, you know, I grew up on the east side, you know, Promenade. Um, I grew up on Elman and Chalmers, you know what I'm saying, Cheddar Ave. Um, Shit, McKinney, Yorkshire, Whittier, you know, every all them streets over there, you know what I'm saying? And shit, just growing up is just, you know, just just gotta live, gotta live and survive, you feel me? So I mean, but I had a good life too, you know what I'm saying? My family, my pops, you know, he 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 did his thing and supported me, you know, through everything and my mama, you know what I'm saying? So I got a good family, got a good backing, you know, we got a big family, you know what I'm saying? So everybody did a part with my upbringing, you know what I'm saying? Especially my grandma, you know, my grandma, she, I, she raised me for real, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, but yeah, shout out my grandma, Coco, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, yeah. When it's all said and done, like, what do you really want to get out of the music shit, bro? Like, do you want to be famous or, you know what I'm saying, do you want to take nine route, you feel me, independent, you make a lot of cheese, you know what I'm saying? And they say they have to be the TMZ star, you feel me? Like, what, 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 what's, what, what's the way that you really want to go? I want the industry, uh, I want I want the independency, you know what I'm saying? But I want the industry too, because I want to be the greatest, you know what I'm saying? I want to be the best. And I want to be remembered as the best, you know what I'm saying? And that's my whole goal, so, you know, that's why I work for none of this. And I'm still working, and, you know, this is the beginning, like I said, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I want. I want to be the best and take this bitch out. What some what some people that you want to do a song with that you ain't necessarily had to do a song had a chance to do a song with yet from the city? Um, Sada Baby for sure. Um, T Grizzly. Um, the Doughboys. The Doughboys. Peasy. Vezo. Um, Nisha Shea. Cash down. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That's all I can think about right now. But definitely them for sure. And then you know whatever else comes. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 
I'm open to any artist that's doing their thing and that's grinding, you know what I'm saying? Because one thing about my music, what I do is I do music and I do what I do to inspire the youth, you know what I'm saying? Right. Young people to, you know what I'm saying, follow their dreams, follow their goals, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's been a long road for me, you know what I'm saying? Even to even be right here, so, you know, I just, I just want to keep it going, you know, Absolutely. just keep people motivated and shit like that. So I'm open to any artist that's hungry, that's doing anything, you know what I'm saying? So uh, what's, what's your social media and everything that people that are watching this can go follow you and all that? My Facebook is Young Lottie, Y-O-U-N-G space L-O-T-T-I. My Instagram is at Lottie Music, so it's L-O-T-T-I Music all together. Um, and then, yeah, through there, you can just, you know, you can just find everything else, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I got YouTube, too. Um, YouTube, uh, Lottie Video. So it's, you know, just V-I-D-E-O, Lottie Video, you know what I'm saying? So you can do that, too. So if you can directly talk to everybody you've been supporting, everything you've been doing, and everybody that's anticipating you dropping some shit, what would you say to them? Um, i say thank everybody for listening. Thank everybody for not listening, the ones that don't. Um, I appreciate my lovers, the haters, everybody, because um, I'm coming. And I just want everybody to respect the game and, um, you know, just judge everything on the, on, on the honest ear. You know, if you fuck with me, fuck with me. If you don't, don't act like you do. <laughs> you know, you and and um, we just going to keep it rolling. g raised music, you see it. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Yeah, hey, man, they got me together, got me a shirt. Too. <laughs> yeah, yeah bro, got a shirt. Uh, you know, you cameraman know. got a shirt too. Yeah, you know, don't bring. We got, we got some old too. My man's Nacho got the shirt, man. Shout out my nigga Nacho behind the camera, dog. Look, it's man, though your bitch, not let your bitch go, man. This motherfucking hip hop.